Did you know I'm gonna come with it? Come with the ten minutes. I watch you stare into these pretty brown eyes. <laughs> hey guys, this is Tiffany J coming to you live. Ten minutes with yours truly. I hope you like the show. Check it out. Hello everyone. So it's me, Tiffany J, and we're gonna spend a good ten minutes with each other. Um, I wanted to share something that a friend had. He asked me a question. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Let me think on that for a few days. Uh, it took me more than a few days, but um, I'm going to read his question. So he said, I have a question for you and it's random. I was just thinking about my own single version of me without a wife or a girlfriend. And it made me think of you. I haven't known you your whole life, but I've known you for a decade, if not more. And it dawned on me, you're really, you're, you are the really good, even um, perfect example of someone who lives their single life and take advantage of no children, no boyfriends, husband, and you just have such a zeal for aspirations, endeavors. You're always doing something, always busy. You have had a less than a handful of boyfriends as far as I know. Um, and he said he could be wrong, but there was that guy from the Y, then there was the white boy. How do you go many, many years without a boyfriend thinking about marriage and still keeping a social, keeping, yeah, social excitement and adventurous single self from the outside looking in it seems you're not really concerned with the whole boyfriend thing or even marriage I could be wrong you could desperately want a husband but I was thinking about me when I was single and I had a routine church work and then home and didn't have a social life and didn't have anything except the one time when he was into music so hard I remember that so his 20s they were filled with the same level of adventures as me um around like 26, 27, we're talking about age, and then it decreased and it felt like he wasn't going anywhere with his life. So that's why he was saying he thought about me and was trying to, uh, let me see, it seemed like I'm the person who basks in my singleness um, from when he first met me. He thought, uh, okay, he thought I was stuck up, but I'm not, basically. So that, it has nothing to do with this. But yeah, I was like, oh, this is really interesting, the fact that you thought about that. So... I had to think long and hard about what I wanted to share and I will read you what I, uh, what my response is or I'll, I'll yeah, I'm going to read you what my response is. Okay. So Google says that singlehood is often defined as a state of being unmarried. However, since it's common for people to be in a romantic partnership, yeah, not yet married, the term is also, it applies to the conditions of having no romantic partner at all. And the main quote that you probably have seen on Facebook or on my Instagram or my stories was there may be assumptions out there that to be single means to be unhappy. And then I said, this is a fallacy. So based on this definition, I'm speaking from being unmarried and at times with or without a romantic partner to answer my friend's question. As a private person, I do choose to keep certain things personal. So specific details of whether or not I'm involved are not necessarily what this particular podcast or this post is going to be about but more so how I handle my singleness so being single I believe is a lifestyle as well as a state of mind I find honor in my singleness because I truly see value in it being preoccupied with relationship goals takes one's focus off of becoming the best best version that you can actually offer for a relationship it makes no sense, at least for me, in my opinion, to be head over heels for someone when I don't even have certain things in order for myself. I'm also highly focused on my career within the music industry and within retail with custom framing. These two will be the building blocks to my brand and my financial foundation, which I feel must be in place first before pursuing the idea of becoming serious with someone. And then we talk about flags on the play. So throughout my teens, my young adulthood and now well into grown folks business, I have occasionally made man of my dreams lists. I tweak them, but a majority of the time they basically stay the same. And so now my list wasn't superficial, like, ooh, he had to be a certain height or bracket of income, but it was more based on character. Oddly enough, I made these lists, but I didn't even hold the guys up to the same criteria, which is sad. So I allowed all sorts of behaviors, second chances, and continuously found myself getting the short end of the stick and was clueless as to why. Prior to 2015, I was heavily concerned about being in a relationship and all it had to offer. I was 29 at the time and was ready to embark on my 30s with a fresh badge of man around my belt. Like, hey, look who I got. 
not realizing I was nowhere near all of the, like, I was nowhere near all of the women that I needed to be for myself. So 2014, 15, this was around 2014, I know it was in September when it started. Um, and I may share more in a book that I would like to publish in the future. But 2014, September, I became depressed and sought after therapy and counseling to uproot why I was having dead end relationships circling around the same patterns. Within six months, um, the counselor and I, we unlocked family details that caused a lot of pain and rejection, which eventually led to an epiphany and an emotional upswing. So not to say that I'm completely cured, but it was enough to end my eight month depression and move in a positive direction. And I am looking forward to getting some more therapy in the future to further cultivate my personal growth. So, um, as far as being with someone, it's not necessarily the end all be all like of my life. I know that that isn't, um, I remember Will Smith was saying, I don't know if he was saying it in response to Jada at a red table talk or where, or he was just speaking on his Instagram. But I remember he was saying like, your, your happiness is your responsibility. It's not the other person's responsibility to make you happy. So once I realized that and internalized that, I realized like, even if I was with someone, something could happen in my life or something could happen between me and the other individual and I'm still not happy. And then, and then what, like what, you know? So that was something that I needed to search within myself. And and you can't necessarily really do that when you're with someone, you have to kind of be whole within yourself first. Then I saw this question on Facebook the other day. And the question said, ladies, when you first meet a guy and decide to like you kind of like him, do you intentionally give him a hard time once or twice? If so, why? I don't think I ever really did that. I don't believe because I don't think I was one for playing games. Like if I liked you, like I really liked you. So but now today, 2020, Tiffany would say there was no need for me to do that. I usually just watch and observe and then I realize that certain behaviors are a dead giveaway or a flag on the play. It's up to me to maintain my boundaries based on what I know I want for myself. Hint, hint, go back to the 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 list of the man of my dreams type thing. And that is my responsibility. Um, I know that over the years I have failed numerous times to tell a guy, thank you, but no thanks. This isn't going to work. Uh, why? Because I was hung up on a fairy tale. I was hung up on a lie and I kept selling myself the lie instead of basing things on what was actually happening you know all those things where people say you know if they show you who you are or show if they show you who they are believe them all of that stuff I was trying to mold and make people into something or into an idea of what I thought it was going to be when it was not exactly what they were presenting to me so all the superficial stuff like ooh, looks money car whatever the case is all of that stuff is cool but it's it, it doesn't really matter if you don't have your foundation and your foundation needs to be on point with you personally and as a collective when you do decide to get with someone. Next, I want to talk about learning how to correctly audit men. I feel like being female or for a better phrase, a woman, it is my or our job as women to correctly assess behavior that is a, that is equivalent to that of a man. Too many times we enable behaviors that eventually will come back to harm us in the long run. I'm currently reading this book called Male vs. Man by Dondre Whitfield. And also I'm doing some other homework and research like watching Black Love on YouTube and things like that. Watching DeVal and Kadeem on Instagram to better myself first so that I can be a better service to others around me. In assessing or auditing certain behaviors and calling them out for what they are, I can better educate, guide, and counsel my fellow sisters in times of need. It's an honor to grow and evolve. And I look forward to the trials and tribulations that come my way. For I know it's an opportunity for me to grow. Separating the immature versus mature. Knowing the difference between honest dialogue and effective communication. Versus aimless arguing based on pointing fingers and proving points. That's what's important to me. So overall, singleness is something that I feel I have stewardship over. And even though I relish on the idea of ultimate companionship in the form of marriage and a family, I know that my time will come. And you know what? I'm perfectly fine with waiting my turn. Managing a household and other responsibilities can take a back seat to me for now. So um, maybe my next topic will be on getting to know someone, getting to know you. <laughs> 
we'll see but yeah um that question really uh it didn't strike a nerve but it was just like oh this is interesting let me let me respond to that so that is how i feel on being single that was another edition of 10 minutes with tiffany j i hope you all enjoyed yourselves because i know i did you can find more episodes on my website www.t jayetaylor.com and go to podcast but don't stop there hop on over to the music tab and rock out to your favorite tiffany j record starting with my latest single work for it available for streaming and downloads on all major platforms with a bomb video showcase on youtube featuring the queen city charlotte north carolina